Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to Pokemon Soulstones. This has been a highly requested fan game and it's about time we got to it, so let's jump right into it. All the fonts are installed, I don't know why the game keeps telling me to install the fonts, because they're all installed. But if you guys want to play along, as always, link in the description down below. Uh, do go check it out. Let's go to the options and we're going to go and put the text speed too fast. And then put the screen size too large. There we go. And then new game. Alright, so welcome to Pokemon Soulstones. If you paid for this game, you've been ripped off. This game is and always has been a free passion project. I made this game in a relatively short period of time compared to many other fan games. I made this game because of the generous contribution of the Pokemon fan game community and allowing me to use things such as sprites, tile sets, and overworld art, namely from Reborn Rejuvenation. Oh, that's nice. This game is not affiliated with any of those games though. That game has been a massive source of inspiration for me and I do not intend to plagiarize or take any uh, content that I'm not permitted to be using. If you feel otherwise, please feel free to contact me on Discord or Poker Community. Okay, that makes me think then um, this game is going to be very difficult if it's uh, inspired by those. But if you've downloaded this game from any other third party site other than Poker Community, Relic Castle or the official Discord, please ensure you delete this game and re-download from the latest available version on any of those sites. Yep, true, you should definitely do that. Only yet, download the games from official sources. Don't get from these like other sites that just like ridden with ads and viruses and whatnot. This game was primarily made by a sole developer who learned how to work with it as he kept going. With some help from others in a few areas such as spriting and team building, each of whom are included in the credits. Please don't expect the quality of a full team of professional developers any bugs should be reported in the Pokemon Soulstones Discord. Ooh, okay, so would I like to play a randomizer? I would not. Okay, so. What we got? We got Looker. You're receiving this message. It seems like the de decryption key and made it to you. TechOps has advised me that there is a 0.001% chance of the warping process failing. So we'll continue with my briefing. You can refer to me as Agent Roberts. Okay, Agent Roberts. I'm what the agency refers to as a receiver. A shepherd to guide and orient new field agents to their new reality. You're a field agent from the year 3564 CE. Cool. You're part of an elite group of time traveling operatives that work for the Apoch government. You've been sent back to the current year for your assignment. I'm given to understand that sometimes the warping process, or the process of transferring your consciousness to a civilian in the current timeline, will sometimes cause a field agent to lose their memory. That's why the agency has recently implemented the use of receivers such as myself to get you. Oriented towards your new reality. Receiver or not, I'm not going to baby you. So I would request you to consult the following dossier before arriving at Agency HQ the outlined base instructions. But should you need to refer to it, I would advise you to pause this playback. I strongly recommend you consider reviewing the details in the adventure option. This message is designed to delete after one recording, so make sure you're ready to receive the briefing. Okay, uh, so, let's go to adventure. I'm not surprised you need some context. Another one with memory loss, huh? So you're a field agent that has been sent back to the year 3564 CE in the service of the agency. The agency has composed of elite law enforcement agents in the business of intelligence and espionage working for the Apoch government. Time travel technology has been developed and is ubiquitous in our timeline. As such, our organization was created by the Apoch government to regulate and rein in those who would seek to use large-scale time travel for their own criminal endeavors. To travel back in time, your consciousness has been transposed aka warped into a civilian in the current year. Regrettably, your Pokemon team could not travel back in time with you, so you will need to start from scratch. As such, your first mission will be to report to Agency HQ, where you will receive a partner Pokemon to assist you in the current timeline. Mission assignments might be dangerous. Need to exercise caution at all times when out in the field. Above all, confidentiality and discretion is of utmost importance. You must not disclose your true identity to any civilian. We employ the use of our sleeper technology to temporarily control some civilians for our needs, needs but this technology is used very sparingly. We use these sleepers to prevent agents from going rogue. As you complete your missions, you will be granted a higher security clearance, which will entitle you to access some of the agency's unique technology. Remember at all times that you work for the agency. You must follow all orders. Do not take lightly to betrayal and swift execution surely follows any agent that attempts to disobey direct orders. Consider this warning as a show of good faith. Oh. Okay, so. 
no info needed. That's very interesting. Oh, wow. It's like a robotic Breloom. Our Pokemon are our partners in the field, and we rely on them to help us in our missions. Treat them with respect and earn their trust. Each one has their own strengths and weaknesses. You need to make sure you assemble a field team that will assist you in your missions. The missions you will be sent on will require strength, stealth, and cunning. We, all, we allow agents the discretion to choose their Pokemon teams as they see fit. Make sure you choose wisely, because if you don't, it can mean that we fail our objective. There are direct consequences for insubordination or failure. Our missions are to serve the interests of the government of Apache, so they will range in difficulty and complexity. We can only train our agents to make sure they are ready to face the challenges that arise. For your ongoing missions, we need to record you in our agent database. Okay, are you sure? Yes, I am. What did you want as your call sign? Uh, let's go with Voltsy as always. Also, for this game, I might try something once we get into it. We'll see. All right. So you're Voltsy? Yes, I am. Reminded that your immediate orders are to report to Agency HQ in the Leapad Town. We have a lab established as it's adjacent to a nearby area to get your feet wet and train your starter Pokemon. Look for Professor Roberts. Remember, act natural. Some civilians won't understand that you've been... You've uh, displaced the personalities of people they used to know. Good luck, Agent Voltsy. Ooh. What an interesting opening to the game. We're a time traveling agent. So why have we come back here? I'm, s I'm sure we'll find out soon, but give me a second to uh, see if we can have a nice little costume change. Wait, there we go. Okay. Looking uh, a lot cooler. <laughs> Bit biased there, but... Oh, there you are, Voltsy. How'd you sleep? It was alright, but who the hell is this? Um, hello? Fultzy, what's wrong with you? It's me, your mother. I, uh, sorry, mum. Right, warped, gotta assimilate. You know you're awfully quiet today. Everything okay, hun? Yeah, um, everything's fine. Um, I'm looking for a Professor Roberts. He has a lab in town or something? Professor Roberts? Oh yeah, he lives in the lab right at the south of town. What do you want to go see him for? Um, I got a call from him. He's looking for a, uh... Field assistant. Field assistant? Hmm, okay, well I suppose that's something to keep you occupied. More time spent outside is probably good for you anyway. <laughs> okay, honey, if you need to go see him, best not to keep him waiting. Sounds good, let's go. Alright, so this is lily pad town. Sup? The fat man appears to be fast asleep. What an odd place to fall asleep. I mean, to be fair, nice and sunny out. Floor doesn't look too dirty, you got a Dragonite though. Hello, I'm a pilot for the Air Dragonite. Using my Dragonite, I offer rise to various locations that you've visited bef before within the Apoch region for a small fee. 1,000! Ooh! That region's looking nice. Got Shaman's Shrine right there. Berry Farms. This place is kind of cool. Tranquility Lake. Okay. Nice big region. Uh, how's it going, kid? Uh, did you know the Apoch region has hidden grottos? You need to keep your eyes peeled for them though. You can tell there's a hidden grotto if there is a slight darkness between the trees. There's a uh, telltale sign that there's a secret opening and there could be something valuable hidden there. Nice. Alright, anything down here? So it leads uh, out the town looks like. These hop-hips in town enjoy the light breeze. It's kind of cute. Alright. Let's go and speak to Professor Roberts. Oh. Uh, you, Professor Roberts? Uh, hail a potch, agent, as your partner Pokemon are standard issue. We've learned to modify them to optimize them for field performance. I can change any starter Pokemon's abilities, including to its hidden ability. Oh, okay, so I'll talk to you in a little bit. Oh, this is a lot of Pokemon. Ah, finally, Agent Voltsy's here. That took long enough. Agent, come over here now to receive your mission briefing and assigned Pokemon. Welcome to Agency HQ, Recruit. Seems like you received your initial briefing as expected. I would like to introduce you to two fellow recruits that recently warped this timeline as well. Agent Rhea and Agent Cameron. Oh, I can recognize that consciousness from a mile away. That's the weakling at 037A. Salutations, uh, 037A, or shall I call you Voltsy? Seems you are the unfortunate victim of some memory loss during the warping process. Ha, <laughs> typical. Are you going to baby uh, 37A throughout this entire timeline? It's said that you didn't lose your memory during the warping process, Cameron. 
You can continue to be an asshole no matter what timeline you're in. Or you're not, Agent Faulty. You can speak to the other scientists in the lab to help get a, a bit better oriented. They might have something to help you with your temporal illness too. Now, Vaulty, I shall let you choose your partner Pokemon first, and then I can proceed to provide you with your mission objectives. Okay, so what are the starter Pokemon? So we have Gen 1 to 7. Okay. What do I want? See, now I kind of want to get um, Froakie. Get Greninja with Hidden Ability could be really nice. Um, I honestly don't know what I want. Kind of have to use a Blaziken a little bit. Mm, such a hard choice. I think I'm going to go with Froakie. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. So now we've got that. The mission ahead is a dangerous one. As field agents, we need to prepare ourselves for any eventuality. Train your Pokemon and collect others on your mission so you're ready to take on any ad adversary. Okay, sounds good. An excellent choice. Now that you've selected, which of you two want to go next? Go ahead, baby. Ladies first. Ah, don't touch me, creep. Finally, these two take forever, huh? Hmm, which one do I want? And he says we were slow. Nah, I shouldn't have second guessed myself. I'll take this one. Okay, now that all three of you have selected, it's only customary that you have your first battle. Cameron and Volti, you're up first. You're dead, loser. Oh, we'll see about that. Alright, let's do this. What you got? Turtwig, okay. Uh, so let's go pound. Oh, great. Okay, that's that's great. <laughs> Let's go for Bubble then. I think Bubble might do a little bit more. Oh, this is... This is great. I love the fact you got stamina and just keep getting defense. <laughs> I'm going to lose this battle 100%. I've got the potion if need be, which I might just have to use. Alright, yeah, I'll use it now. Although I'm, I'm pretty sure I still won't win this battle. on give me a crit or something oh, this is just not good yeah we're definitely losing this first battle and you got a, you got a crit on me <laughs> come on <laughs> uh fine battle I should heal your Pokemon for you now folksy ah uh. Agent Rhea, you're up next. Ready for this, Foxy? So I'm guessing we'll beat her easy because she'll have the fire type. But we'll see, we'll see. Alright, Bubble. Yeah, that's much better. And that will finish it off. Hey, we actually won one battle. I mean, a 50% win rate. That's, that's alright, I guess. Would have loved to beat stupid Cameron though. Well done, all of you. I also need to provide you with a few standard issue items for all field agents. So we've got Pokedex, Pokegear, and Running Shoes. Nice. These items should be straightforward to you. You can consult your control menu on how to activate the Running Shoes and whether you want it on by default. Likewise, the Pokedex is a tool for you to be able to identify and understand the different Pokemon you see. Last, the Pokegear has some useful functions such as a map, radio, and satellite phone service. Another quick thing you should be aware of is pressing the Q key on your keyboard enables a quick save function, which can be done outside of battle. If you want to change your partner Pokemon's nature or its abilities, I have summoned uh, some special specialists from Vega City and Sirius City. They are awaiting you in the lab. They will only be here for a short time though. Now that you have your gear at Faulty, your first mission is to seek out Agent Spencer in Stonecrest Museum for your next briefing. Stonecrest is the next city over. He's identified some anomalous activity in the region that we think might be related to our objective. What's the greater objective? This is not your mission, Cameron. And even if it were, you don't have the security clearance to be privy to that information. 
Cameron Rear, the two of you have another mission. Faulty, you have your orders dismissed. Okie dokie. And now we can run a little bit. Uh, do you need some information? Oh, whoa, okay. That just went real fast. Did not mean to say that, but... Uh, what information can I get? So we know pretty much about all this and what we're doing. All right, so let's go and change the ability. All right, so let's change it. And hidden ability. Okie dokie, let's double check. Make sure it hasn't changed in this game. Yeah, okay. That's good, that's good. Just thinking this game's going to be pretty difficult, then I'm um, going to need all the help I can get. I just feel like a hidden ability Froki would be super clutch. Got 20 Pokeballs, thank you. Now, where's the nature person? Uh, okay, I can change the nature of any partner Pokemon and guarantee the nature of your choosing. Uh, what nature do we want for... No, okay, no, 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 no. Just want to get the thing back up. Do it slowly. Yes. Okay. Don't want the text boxes to quickly jump up again. No, like that. Oh, like it, it's just like a little pause and I press A thinking I have to skip forward. But then as soon as I press A, it pops up. So I just need to just give it that like two seconds to just pop up. Okay. Right. There you go. So I think... Uh... We probably want. Do we want a modest? I feel like we probably want modest for Greninja. Because I'm thinking if we go for special attacks, then we don't really need our attack up, do we? And that keeps all the other stats going up. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for that. Sorry, Froki getting all these like injections and stuff feel kind of bad. Uh, standard issue items for all agency missions. Don't squander these. Ooh, five potions. Thank you. And I guess now we just leave and start making our way to Stonecrest Museum. All right. Uh, let's look at the map. So Stone Quest would be a, sorry. Stone Crest City is over here. It's going to go down and around. But can we head to Harmony Lake? Go and check out what's over here. Harmony Lake. Okay. Oh, hi. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. It's rabbit season. Alright, what's your name again? Elmer. Uh, you got a rock rock. That'll be easy to beat. Let's go bubble. Get that experience. Critical hit. Nice. Not that we need the crit, but it's always good to get crits. Level 7, sweet, and a Leo. Oh, yeah, give me all them fire types and rock types and Pokemon that are weak to water. This is this is good. This is very good. Easy experience. And Eevee, let's keep on bubbling. I love the battle music as well. The remix is nice. Alright, let's see what Pokemon we can find around Harmony Lake and hopefully add some new team members. Alright, so we need dive. Yeah. There's an item over there as well, we'll grab in a second. Ooh! Connie could be kinda good for the team. Do a little bit of damage first, because I feel like it'd be kinda annoying to capture. And fairy wind, okay, okay. That's that's fine, it's like no damage. I think I'll go for Two more bubbles. Actually, that should be good enough. Let's go for one. Come on, get caught, man. Get caught. Oh, okay. I was wrong. So a little bit more damage. You know what? I honestly forget what level or how you evolve. I need to look this up. But I just feel like this could be very decent for the team. All right. I am red HP, let's try this again. Dude, come on, just get caught. Ooh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. 
Do not want to lose already. Come on, you know you want to get caught, man. Dude, why are you being so annoying? Okay, it's probably my last chance to get in you. Otherwise, I'm going to lose. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, don't attack me, don't attack me, don't attack me. Okay, good. So to get a Whimsical, you need a Sunstone. Don't know where you get a Sunstone in this game. I'm sure someone in the comments will tell me, but... No, dude, it rolled three times. No. All right. I will cut to when we capture one, because I am definitely I definitely want one. Wait, there you go. This one's higher level, and I got it right away. First ball. Nice. Okay, we got it. That's good. All right, let's go talk to you. Harmony Lake is a perfect place to kick back, relax, and enjoy some fishing. Ooh. All right, what you got for us? Got a polywag. All right, let's go for a nice pound. Not bad damage, not bad. Now we go for another pound to finish you off. Good, good. And then Wingo. I was gonna switch into Cottony, but I think it's probably best just to stay in it for the moment. Stupid Wingo being pot flying. Might know a nice flying move to do some damage. Last one's a toe dial. Okay, now we switch. Oh, it's holding an item. What are you holding? All right, let's go absorb. Get that HP right on back. Nice. And Scratch does uh, a critical hit, four damage, so we are good. So we're gonna stay nice and healthy. Like, there's no way this toe dial takes us out unless it gets a crit every single turn. Yeah, we good. Does two damage, we get more HP back. Beautiful. Can you imagine if you kept getting a crit every turn? That would have been <laughs> pretty bad, pretty bad. All right, uh, yeah, what's the item you're holding? Absorb bulb. Uh, what does that do? Oh. Uh, if the holder is hit by a water type move, its special attack will rise. Oh. I'll hold on to that actually for a little bit later on. That could be good. Got a rare candy. Sweet. Alright, what else can we find around here? There was a C dot, there was obviously cottony. And yeah, I don't want C dots. Gonna go for one more encounter and see. So I'm not sure if this game has a speed up option. I pressed some buttons and didn't find one usually it's like shift alt or like v f and yeah, got none of them unfortunately but it's all good can always speed the game up myself i need to do some grinding all right so let's start making our way down route 101a ayo Shh, trying to find wild pokemon in the grass okay then a fight is definitely gonna attract some all right what you got you got bonsley Hit that with a nice uh, bubble. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, hoot hoot. Yeah, we'll stay in. Go and do that damage. Growl me, it's, that's absolutely fine. Nice. And got a lick. Uh, let's get rid of Pound. Can become Ghost type now if we want. And a Tepig, that's nice and easy. Nice bubble. Sweet. All right, so we can go over there. Was there an item up here or anything? Don't think there was, but I'll speak to the lady just in case. Gonna run away from Spiro. And a Pidgey, um ah, run away from Pidgey. Oh, it's gonna be a hidden item, right? Hey, we got an Ansto. Nice. Gonna take like a rock all the way up there. There's gotta be something. And it just seems like flying types around here, so I'm just gonna run away from all these because I don't want them. 
Don't you agree I have the cutest Pokemon? Um, we'll, we'll see about that. Let's see. Do you have cute Pokemon? You have four? I mean, Nidoran's kind of cute, to be fair. But the cutest? Mm, I don't think so. I think my Froakie's a little bit cuter. Alright, that's one down. Three more to go and not much experience in Puccina. Let's go into Cottony. Go for a Fairy Wind. Oh, didn't not mean to go for Absorb. But still, it's fine. And you do two damage and I get two damage with um, <laughs> Absorb, so... Oh, wow. I feel like this Cottony is going to be so clutch throughout the whole game. No, I just have a feeling it's going to be good. I'll come back to this episode, what I said here, when Cottony, or Whimsicott in the future is just absolutely destroying every single trainer. But the good thing is though, this game doesn't seem very, I'm assuming, I'm assuming it will get harder, obviously, at the start of the game, but it doesn't seem like ultra uber difficult right now, which is, which is good. But sometimes that's how these games start, you know, it makes you a full sense of security. You think, oh yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I can... I can take out these trainers easy and then BAM! Some trainers gonna come out of the woodwork and just absolutely will destroy you. Which, uh, yeah, just waiting for that time to come. <laughs> uh, I'm not like the other girls here, okay. Are you a good trainer, perhaps? I think got a parrot. Alright, uh, let's go for Bubble. Nice! Get that one shot, what you got next? Bunnel B, yeah, let's switch. Let's go Connie. And absorb. I was kind of hoping to get a little bit more HP than that, but I think we'll be fine. Ooh, I was really hoping I'd take you out. We're getting very weak. I've got potions, but I think after this, I'll quickly run back to our quote mum. Wait, what? Are they East Swirlix? Oh, sweet! Okay, it's got regional forms. It's like a, I guess a flying type? Like a big, like, cloud. Like, cotton candy sort of thing? Oh, that's kind of sweet. Okay. Regional forms. I, uh, I kind of want to get a team of regional forms now. <laughs> All right, let me go and get healed up and I will see you guys back here in a second. Ready, we're back nice and healthy and now we can start finding some more trainers going through. My ex-boyfriend dumped me because he said I was crazy. Okay. Why does he think you're crazy? Let's go over this. All right, uh, let's go bubble. Maybe a Pokemon. Give a sign of why you're crazy. We shall see, and level 11, sweet, and Taylor, yeah, we gotta stay in. Can't go into Cottony. Got a lot of birds. Okay, to the back, you got Puccina, so... Hmm. We'll find out. Let's talk to her again, maybe she'll say something extra after um, we beat her. Very curious to know why you, why you think you're crazy, you know? Right, level 8, sweet. And Starly, we will go Fairy Wind. And one more finish you off. I mean, so far, I think we're doing good. You know, I'm, a, I'm in my mind, I'm going with this uh, narrative. This is going to be a very difficult game. Until I think it's not. Oh, okay. Who am I can I miss him? <laughs> right. Yeah, until I think this is not a hard game, I'm going to treat it like it's a very hard game. I'm just going to try and be over leveled. Get decent, strong Pokemon and, you know, and the likes. Wait, what was that? Press Q. Oh, quick save. Okay. Should probably save the game. It's been a while. Let's go for a normal save. Just, uh, just to make sure. All right. Making sure I look, try and look out for hidden grottos as well. Oh! Hey, Ducklet! The posh Ducklet is peacefully paddling. It might come closer to you if you have food for it. No, let me catch you, man. It looks kind of sick. Oh, man. Uh, does this woman want to battle? Wait. Hey, got some honey. Wait, maybe we can give it honey. Do ducks like honey? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you got Pikachu. Okay. Uh, it's gonna run away. Hey, yo. 
I have honey for you. Do you want some honey? No. Dogs don't like honey, apparently. <laughs> oh, dude. Alright, what you got for us? Sentry, let's. Oh, did not mean to go for a lick. I need to go for some bubbles. But now it goes type, it doesn't affect us. Yeah, boy! <laughs> oh, let's go. A foresight, okay. Another bubble. Nice. And who, who, yeah, I'll stay in. If I get the chance, I'll switch into Connie, but right now I think just any flying type is best to stay in with Froki. Echo voice, okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Nice. And Purloin, uh. Yeah. Purloin is dark, right? Am I thinking of. The other one. Are you normal? I, think, I always think I get these two mixed up. Thinking of, uh, what's it called? The one that goes in the light hood. It's, um... Oh, dude, I'm blanking. It's, uh... Oh, legit, I can't remember right now. It'll come to me, probably when I'm editing the video or something, but, like... I think I'm thinking of that one. No, it's, I'm trying to think. It's, it's, it's doing my head and I, I cannot think of it. <laughs> uh, I will look it up while I destroy this Jigglypuff. Because for the life of me, it's, it's annoying me. Oh, and... And as soon as I remember the name, I'll be like, oh, are you kidding me? Right, well, if I type in Lipid. No, oh, yeah, it is Purloin. I'm thinking of Glamau. That's what I'm thinking of. I was thinking of Glamau goes into... Um, Per Ugly. I think it's the name Per. Perloin is making me think of um, Per Ugly. That's what it is. No wonder I couldn't think of it because it was just there. Dude. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Fisherman, let's go into Connie. And we can destroy you. Oh. And Starly, uh, I'll run away. Yo, I've not been able to find any decent fish Pokemon from this lake. Maybe because the, uh... The Ducklet just keeps eating them all, maybe? Oh, why do you have a normal Ducklet? Show me the cooler one. Ah, oh, you suck. Okay, that does, like, no damage. Uh, let's go for a Fairy Wind. This Ducklet's level 8, so we might get some decent experience if we manage to beat it. It's like no damage. It's gonna be here a while, but if you keep going for defog, this is fine. Water gun. That's absolutely fine. Two more fairy winds should do the trick. And water spot. Yeah, that's again good. <laughs> Don't care. And fairy wind to finish you off. Now get me level nine, please. Nice. And Goldeen, yeah, that's fine, because we can absorb that. Easy. Although, Peck's a little scary. But if we do enough damage, ooh, never mind. Uh, let's go Stun Spore. So if we do enough damage, we can probably just stay in. Oh, come on, we miss. Oh, that sucks. All right, I'm gonna switch. Okay, so now we go quick attack. Not bad damage. Another quick attack. And one more to finish you off because we live this peck and let you get a crit. Good, good. And magic up. Uh, surely we can just stay in. Let you got tackle. I thought you just going to splash so I can just keep quick attacking. Have a quick look as well. If there's like another trainer, I'm going to go run back to mum and heal up. If not, then uh, I'll keep going until, until we can. Alright. I 
for us. Goblin number trainer though. Okay, yeah. So you guys back here in a second when we're nice and healthy. Okay, so I totally forgot to check out this house. Um, I went inside and I spoke to one of the ladies and I got five poker treats. So maybe the poker treats are what we need to um, give to the Pokemon to try and get them. So let me see if the poker treat is what this um, ducklet wants. Hey yo, come here. Can I give you a poker treat? Yes, okay, so this is how you get it. Nice. Oh, it just joins us straight away? Oh, sweet. I was expecting a battle, but... Fairy flying, okay. Ooh, it's got Serene Grace. Okay, okay. Our team looking uh, pretty good right now. All right, so let's continue on. Uh, yo, let's battle. My friend told me there's a hidden grotto somewhere near here. Oh, I see it, right up above us. Okay, I'll go check that out in a second. Once we kick your butt. Go for a few fairy wins. I'm glad, like, I went heal up and I saw the house and went, wait, did I check that out? I think I did. And then, yeah, quickly went in there and the woman gave me five poker treats. So I was like, oh, sweet, that's gotta be it. And then the other woman gave me a potion as well, which, uh, I mean, kind of cool, but poker treats better. Let's go a little and rat tap, that's fine. Keep up the fairy wins. Nice. Oh, an E Chimchar? Oh, it's an electric Chimchar! Dude, I need that! Oh, I want it so bad! How do I get that? Where do I get that? I'm checking the Pokedex. Please be in there. Oh, I want that so hard. I want that so, so hard. Oh, that is so cool. That is so, so cool. Oh, Kakuna, don't, don't be annoying. Just, just get taken out, please. But, oh man, I'm so, so adding that to the team. Okay. This is, um, very cool. <laughs> All right, one more fairy wind. Take you out. And we might get level 11, possibly, from this. That's right, there's no XP share, is there? No, okay, so. Uh, let me save the game first. Oh, well, so we got encounters, so it tells me like all the encounters in the area. Right, uh, Pokedex. Where are you, Chimchar? I need you. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> It's gonna be right at the very bottom, isn't it? <laughs> It'll be worth it. In before it says unavailable anywhere. Okay, so, oh my God, that's so far away. Ah, oh, come on, man. That's so far. Like we, we're here and it's over here. <laughs> All right, when we, um, Get to the area we will definitely oh nice definitely um cat catch it oh that sucks man that's so far away we're on the team now uh all right so we got a cave wait what let me check uh the map again i think we want to go up but where does this cave lead you know So this takes us to Amity Coast. And we want to go to Stonecrest City. Should we try and go through here if we can? Uh, hi. Stupid troll Pokemon. You there, I need your help. There is an a potch drowsy that's been rampaging across this cave. It seems to be hungry or something because I've been making a ruckus in this cave, causing parts of it to collapse. Beware this drowsy is not like other drowsies you're used to seeing. It's a regional variant and is a dark fighting type. Oh, easy, easy. I can deal with this easy, man. Dark fighting? I got two fairy types. Like, that's <laughs> just gonna hit it with a fairy wind. It's gonna be so easy. I got a drawer, uh, this, I'm gonna switch into Froakie for this. 
Ooh, liking this game so far. Like, story. Very interesting, being an agent from the future. Taking over people's bodies. No idea what the mission is, but just the Pokemon so far is really cool. The side, like, side, having side quests like this is also really cool. Very good, very good. Nice. And E Zubat. Ooh, I, why does it look better than normal Zubat, man? I feel like it's got to be maybe part ghost, maybe? Because like, the wings look a bit destroyed. Like, at the moment, I think that looks cool, but at the same time, I'm thinking, I'll wait to see what a Crobat looks like before I even think about wanting one for the team, you know? Right now, that Froki is what? Is on my mind. <laughs> Not Froki, um, Chimchar, sorry. Really want that Chimchar. Oi, okay. And what we got here? Ooh! Geodude looking kind of cool. With the eyes and the color, it makes me think it'll become like rock fire. I'm gonna capture it just to see. Ah, oh, dude. You suck. Yeah, it's gonna be part of fire. Oh, I'm gonna catch one for the team for now. Because I think a rock fire type would be kind of nice. Uh, I'm gonna go lick to try and paralyze you. If I go for a bubble, I think I'd definitely take you out. I don't do that. Oh no. Oh no, I can't mind. If I just try and take you out, rollout's gonna kill my whole team. I think I'll come back with better balls, maybe? Rollout's too scary. I don't really wanna lose my whole team and run all the way back here, you know? Uh. I'm going to lead off with Froakie, like I said. Actually, no, let's go eat Ducklet. Try to get level 10. Yeah, I need to take a break. So a, uh, a battle is a good way of taking a break. I'm sure that will probably expend more energy, but... Ooh! You bug mate. Sweet. I feel like you're going to be... Rock? Ground? So now we just go for a nice bubble. Nice. And Timber, uh, we will go into Ducklet. Then we go for some fairy attacks, and that will take you out easy. Ooh, almost one shot on ya. Can lower my defense, that's, that's all good, that's all good. And E Covenant, wow, this game's got a lot of regionals. I like that. That's cool. What type are you? Oh, that's maybe fire type, but then like. Yeah, I think you definitely will be part of fire. And Makihita, let's go back into E Ducklet. And then we'll give us some more fairy winds. I feel like it's going to be a very long game as well, because like, I don't think we'll get into the, the starting town for a while if we can just explore and go to Southern Town first. There's a lot we're going to probably be doing. And a matchup. Man, I feel like this battle's never ending. I mean, it's good because we're getting experience, but still. Ah, level 9, got Wing Attack. Ooh. All right, so. Uh, oh, there's the drowsy. Let me just heal up. And I'm going to go with Froakie because I feel like this guy's just going to have like rock types and stuff. In before he leads off with like a fighting type. A matchup. Funny story about matchup. I say it's a funny story, but like um, I had these stickers from the pre-order I got of uh, Mystery Dungeon. And um, <laughs> I don't know why, but like, I, I got, uh, I support the game twice. One for me, one for Jasmine. I also got two sets of stickers. 
but it was it was two sets in each pre-order, so I had four sets. And I don't know why, but this is like this matchup, like the only stick I've used is matchup, and I just see it everywhere. I I put it for some reason I put it onto like a side of um like an aftershave like bottle. That's just been I see it like every time, I don't know why, and then just where else was it? It was like I think it was on a bit of paper. I just keep seeing it. I don't know why. Oh, oh I got dry skin, I keep going for bubble. I was trying to like my eyes shut, trying to think of where like the other one was. But yeah. Let's go for quick attack instead. Let's start doing some damage. Critical hit, great. It's all good, it's all good. We got this. Nice. Alright, level 14. Water pulse, see, hey, okay. Gonna get so much stronger. And E Geodude, no, just stay in and go for a nice uh, water pulse. Awesome. And Nidoran, okay. Another water pulse, goodbye Nidoran. And Froakie water pulse is gonna be destroying everyone. Normal Geodude, that's fine. Water pulse everything. Mwahaha. We're too strong, man. We're too strong. Okay. So now, let's go with the ducklet. And then we can take out the drowsy. Or try and capture it, maybe. Wait, is this a... No, it's a normal... Okay. I uh, want to pick this up. Got to revive. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. Hey. Yo. Just... There you go. I was about to say, they wouldn't fight me. Oh, do I have to use it? Fight me? Okay, I think I have to maybe use a poker treat. Huh. Okay. They really want the drowsy. Not the biggest fan of drowsies, but... I want to see what Hypno turns into. Alright, so let me go through here. This is the coast. Ooh. Right. I think there's a lot. What's this? Pokemon Center, maybe? Uh, what is this? Stranger Danger, okay. The best train there ever was. Uh, I doubt it. Dress myself for school, good for you. Come on, faster than anyone else in my class. Doubt it, I'm faster than you. Who are you? I'm faulty, man. Now, children, please let's simmer down. Attention, children, eyes on me, please. Oh, if it... Is it hard being a teacher to a bunch of preschoolers? Made the mistake of letting some children play with some loner Pokemon and now all they want to do is battle. Not very skilled Pokemon trainer to humor them, but they've been watching too many Pokemon battles on TV and now all they want to do is copy the people they see on TV. I'll ask you to please humor some of the children in a Pokemon battle? Uh, not right now. I need to get healed up. But, uh... Right. Is there like no... Like Pokemon Center here? Doesn't look like it. Let me just run away. So I think we're in this part here then. Next episode, we're probably fight all this, the kids. We'll talk to everyone around here. We'll go back and speak to the guy, hand that side quest in. And then we'll make our way to Stonecrest Museum. Or at least the town anyway. Well, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.